I'm on the Kuwait airport from already about 10 hours and I still have about six or seven hours to wait here. It was a really a long connection, but it was the only one I can find. Everything is going really well. I look forward to see India. The problem is that it's so difficult to get there. Uh, I was also nicely surprised because when I arrived here, I noticed that the time is uh, two hours back, which is mean I lost two more hours. But it's all right. I spent the whole day walk around, sitting on any kind of benches like, like this here or this here. Good news is that uh, I have internet so I can check all of my activities. Tomorrow morning in some stage I will arrive in uh, Mumbai, India. And I just checked the forecast for the last week, or oh, sorry, for the next week it's going to be about 35 degrees. But it is what it is. I'm going to survive. All right, another day, another adventure. I was greeted from my new friend, Ushan. Thank you very much, my friend. And uh, now we're going to use the time because it's still cold and not so busy to see uh, some part of the city. We're going to drink tea and enjoy until it gets hot. And when it gets hot, uh, I'll go to the hotel to relax a bit because I'm already tired. But few more hours, few more hours. So guys, we came from there where all of these neighborhoods are and they're connected with this beautiful bridge connected to the new part of uh, Mumbai. You see the beautiful old buildings uh, connected to the beautiful tall buildings there, skyscrapers and there. So we're gonna take the bridge and go there. Actually, it is a very modern city. Yeah, it is a contrast actually. Yeah. High rises will be there. Yeah. Very impressive here, a lot of buildings and of course high expensive prices. Bushan just told me about crazy job. Nice apartments over a million dollars, pounds, whatever. And look at now guys, I'm on the beach area see this sidewalk here everybody coming for morning morning jogging or just exercise and all, a lot of beautiful buildings here nice apartments over there see i'm very very impressed i did not expect such a modern part from mumbai very nice my friend thank you very much <laughs> Yeah. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Yeah, you're welcome to the I, I, I'm very, very, very well welcome it. So this is actually a racehorse in Karina. So this is a area of rich people, mostly. And the tall building at the end belongs to the richest person in India. What, what was his, his name? Uh, he is Mukesh Ambani. Mukesh Amani. Okay. So it's really different here. Different than the, the neighborhood we were before. See the buildings? Looks like a Spanish resort. Nice. Very nice. People make exercise here. Very interesting career. We just got excellent breakfast and a local Starbucks. Was really nice. I want to show you this beautiful facades. And this is the gate of India. It was built about 150 years ago in the name of English King, to celebrate actually the English King. This is the port. So in about half an hour, we're gonna take a boat tour. Nice. So this guys now is a Hotel Taj. And this is the new part of the hotel. Very, very beautiful. And uh, 
My friend just explained me that uh, about 10 years ago it was a terrorist attack here in this hotel and a lot of people were injured and the opposite side this is the gate of India. What's the gate of India? Yeah? Gateway of India. Uh, gateway of India. Gateway of India. Okay, gateway of India. Look at now. Beautiful. Hotel Touch and the Gateway of India. Erected to the landing in India of the Imperial Majesty's King George V and Queen Mary. Good. Can you imagine, guys, that this was erected just because of the king? These are the boats. We just take off from the port. Nice. Nice experience. Thank you, my friend. This is the port over there, the navy port, and the commercial port is on the other side. And we go to this island? Ah, another. Alright. Ah, I see it. It's a big over there. Yeah, mountain. Very nice experience, guys. Very nice experience. We came to the island. What was the name of the island? Gharapuril. Garapulil, Garapulil Island. Or Elephanta Caves, you can say. Elephant? Elephanta Caves. Elephanta Caves, okay. I cannot say it, but whatever. <laughs> whatever I love. I'll write it later in the description. Yeah. <laughs> and probably with uh, subtitles. Yeah. All right. It's a very old boat, very old diesel engine. All right. Some repairs. All right. It's not because of the low tide. No. All right. So this is the name, Elephanta Island. Welcome to Elephanta Island. Okay. See the engine? Two cylinders. 10, 12 horsepower. The, the main shopping street. Some jewels. Souvenirs. Like a big cave. So this is the main cave. This is one of the statues and it was destroyed by the Portuguese. Look at these pylons guys. How many pylons it goes. They support this roof and everything is 1500 years old. No, this. Very interesting. Here. Unfortunately, it's forbidden for video. Language is a lazari, and Hindi language is a chuimui. Look at this grass now. Look at this. When I touch it, it's closed. Yes. <laughs> Man, it's like life, huh? You can see the monkeys. Okay. 
What you eat, my friend? Corn, good, eat. My trip again was converted to nice food and walk around and no motorcycle riding, but this dish actually what what some kind of fish. What kind of fish it was? Okay, it doesn't matter, but it it was the best dish I've got since the moment I left Germany about two weeks ago. It's just excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. You can see now it looks like smashed. I'm really tired. In the last 48 hours or a little bit more, I slept no more than two hours at the airport benches. So it's really, really time to to go to bed for a while. I'm excited because everything is is nice here, but it is time to sleep, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's also it tired, is. but because of the sunglasses, you cannot see how tired he is. But you can see me. I look like a shit now. Okay, guys, so we had uh, an adventure trying to find a working ATM in uh, Mumbai. So we actually tried about 10 different, and now we're in, uh, in a rickshaw with my friend Sid. And we're going to a special Hi. event to meet the rest, of the rest of the guys, all right? Okay. Okay, good morning guys. Another day, another adventure. So, my new friends, it's Pratanish, Bushan and Sid. So, what Bushan did actually, he gave me his Kawasaki 650 verses. So, I'm gonna ride his Kawasaki and he's going to be pillion to a Pratanish motorcycle, which is a Ninja 650 and another one Ninja 660. So, these guys will be my escort today on the way to Pune. Uh, we are in Mumbai at the moment. What was the name of this park? Uh, this is Shivaji Park. Alright, so this is one of the parks and now we're gonna make a, a round around uh, a beautiful part of uh, Mumbai and then we'll take the way to Huawei. Alright, let's do it. Huh? Alright. Actually his uh, versus is very very comfortable. I don't know what he has, probably bar racers or whatever, but it's very, very comfortable riding position. So these guys are great. Bushan met me at the airport, 5 o'clock in the morning, and we had a wonderful day. And now we're going to make the, the city tour and go to Pune. Excellent, excellent guys, just excellent. Look at now these modern buildings skyscrapers and they built even more glass and steel I guess this was the the boulevard we took yesterday the name the name was a uh, queen necklace because it's going like a necklace around around the city and look at now these palm trees and these tall apartments and the sea on the right hand side uh, really looks like uh, some Spanish coast towns or Mallorca nice it is clean here this is the most controlled site So guys, Mumbai looks like a very, very modern city. Look at now, it's nice. And the traffic is absolutely decent. Uh, I cannot complain at all. The beach, all of these pigeons everywhere. Nice. Very well, very well. 
Very nice to ride now early morning. Oh, once again the beach area. See the facades? Nice. So I've been here yesterday. Very, very interesting and beautiful part. Yeah, and I guess we're gonna U-turn and go back. Man. Let me show this this part, guys. I showed it yesterday, but let me show it again. Ah, it's so nice. You see people coming here for exercise, walk, run. And this is actually the Queen's necklace, you see. And the city on the other side, it has some folk at the moment. Look at this. Very, very beautiful, guys. Very beautiful. And sunrise. Such a special moment, I like it. Mumbai, everything you know is wrong. Yeah, it's a very populated city. I think it was like 15 million or something like that. But it is a very modern city. Look at the trees, uh, these beautiful flowers in the middle and boulevards and the traffic is, is not bad at all. It is 7.30 in the morning, but it is, it is not like uh, most of the towns so my conclusion it's a very beautiful uh, modern town of course it is uh, uh, over 25 degrees now and it will be over 30 after a couple of hours and humidity is really high i don't know how much exactly but it is hot actually we're sweating really really bad but uh, beside that everything is absolutely brilliant Oh man, man, man. Very, very beautiful moment. Very special moment, actually. All right. Ah, oh, man, look at this. I don't know what is what is this building, but it's beautiful. Maybe a railway station. Is this the station? Yeah, this is very, very beautiful. So this was, guys, the a real uh, the central station. Very beautiful. I'm good. Yeah. So we'll try to leave the city as soon as possible and once we did it, we're gonna stop somewhere, make a breakfast and drink tea. New development over there, more tall buildings, more construction works. Of course guys, there are a lot of poor people here and very poor areas with this, like uh, ghettos, but, but also very beautiful but more and more buildings more and more apartments because uh, the city is limited from the sea it cannot be extend left right or uh, uh, west east so let's go up they built more and more top buildings